The 2019 25th Anniversary National Legends Cars Championship is sponsored by 24-Hour Solutions. No problems, only solutions. everybody and a very warm welcome to the 24 hour solutions legends cars national championship our penultimate event of the season here at Pembrey. miles rudman leads the championship sean smith in second place defending champion john mickle in third as we reach the business end of the season let's have a chat with some of our new drivers joining the championship this weekend Nick Bridgman just looked at the times from the qualifying or practice session, P2, so have you peaked too soon, do you think? Um, I hope not. We, uh, <laughs> we tested yesterday, um, but we're putting good, a good time in and it's been getting uh, better at every meeting, so we'll see what happens in the race. That's really good, isn't it? And, you know, it's, it's putting you up towards, well, uh, earlier on I said podium pace. Yeah, yeah, it's just consistency. I just, I've got to try and put them laps in all the time consistently. The guys, the other guys are doing it every lap, so uh, you can't just have one good lap and the rest bad. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can keep, keep, keep that time going all through the race. With our new driver, James Newbury, great to, to see you here. A very warm welcome to Legends Cars. What brings you in? Thank you. Um, I've been with Mickle Motorsport for a couple of years now and just been convinced to join in and have a go myself. So I'm here now trying. In at the deep end? Very much so, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I passed my odds two weeks ago, Tuesday, so uh, today will be my first race. It's actually a big achievement because there are drivers that, that won't necessarily pass their odds course first time, so that's the first step along the way. Legends is, as we know, at the top end, a very competitive championship, but also welcoming and open to new drivers such as yourself at any age. Yes, indeed. Um, they've all been very welcoming here, everybody else. The whole of uh, Legends have been very welcoming too. So it's really nice to be involved and hopefully not fall off all day. That would be my plan. John, last time we spoke was Snetterton. I think there was a little bit of frustration with you, but as ever, you were in the results. You're still third in the championship. Miles had a DNF in the final, so you just never know what you're going to get, basically, with Legends. No, you never know what you're going to get with Legends, but I do feel like it's out of average. I think seven and the 21 are favourites to win which is good for me really, so I can go out, I mean, for the last four years I've been defending, so now I can go out and stick it all to them and see, um, I can put in the gaps what they used to stick into me and see what happens. I won't say it's more enjoyable uh, for you, but is, is there less pressure for you being, being third? I don't, I, no, to be fair, the pressure's, yeah, I haven't got no pressure, I don't really feel pressure. I suppose really, uh, after the first championship was uh, the, the worst one, I suppose, back in 2001. And after that, it's, uh, yeah, no pressure really. But I think the boys are feeling a bit of pressure today, so let's see what happens. <laughs> Phil, great to see you back, but the, the draw, and you're in the draw again, red one pole position, it, it, you couldn't write that, could you really, as a script? No, that's it, you, you couldn't make it up at all. It's uh, one of those things, so I say we, we come back and here we are back in pole all over again. Did you test yesterday? Uh, we went out a few times, we're running a new engine uh, for this weekend, so we just had to kind of bed it all in, um, so we didn't really get any fast laps under our belt. So. Qualifying this morning was quite interesting, and of course it's the first time I've driven this track, so all in all we'll, we'll see how we go now. Phil Turner then on the front row of the grid in 24 hour solutions 247 car, then we've got Paul Simmons to his outside. Mike Borner in the number five car. Dave Ward due to race that one tomorrow. Then it's uh, on the outside line, the 32 of James Hall Morton. Cy Haraway is on the inside of row three. And we've got his on board. So uh, Cy running fourth in the championship. Miles Robin leading the championship for Charles with John Mickle. Cy Haraway fourth. Marcus Pett is in fifth position from Will Gibson and Paul Simmons, who starts on the outside of the front row. Lights out here at Pembrey and going down into Hatchet's hairpin. 
Will Gibson makes a move down the outside. Now there's contact between Mike Border and Phil Turner. James Hall Morton goes for a Burton as well. Border's car stranded right on the apex of the hairpin. He gets it fired up and going again. Surely that's going to be a couple of retirements. Will Gibson on the outside line there of Nathan Anthony in the van. Jack Parker in the blue and yellow 13. Nick Bridgman in blue up ahead of him. Bridgman, the man we opened the show with, inter interview-wise. Paul Simmons getting away, though, with Cy Haraway second. Miles Rudman in third, the championship lead. Then Sean Smith, who's got three of the four main championship protagonists all together. It's a great shot, isn't it? Those eyes menacingly looking at the back end of Cy Haraway's car. Those two at the moment, I think, want to work together to try and close in on Paul Simmons. Here's a look at what happened off the start. We're on board with Nick Bridgman. There's the moment. The two cars came together. I can't say one driver moved over on the other. It looked like they both just came together there. I don't think the clerk's going to apportion any blame if they see that footage. You do have to look at things from three or four different angles to get the full picture. Uh, I think that might be classed as a racing incident. Unfortunate for those that pick up damage, really, really. But uh, in car with, on board with Nick Bridgman, looking down on the inside line of Sean Smith. Around the outside goes Will Gibson. Will is very fast into the hairpin, but runs out of track, goes a little bit wide, loses places. Wanted to try and get around the outside line, did Will. But we'll have to have another go. Sean Smith at the head of that group, which is fourth place at the moment. And Nick Bridgman looking on the inside line as Phil Turner comes into pit lane, so more work for the 247 crew to do. As we all know, no problems, only solutions for those boys. Hopefully they'll get him back out. Bridgman up ahead of Sean Smith. Sean second in the championship, 4225 points. Miles Rubin on 4380. Remember, 200 points for a win. 185 second, 170 for third, then decreasing by 10 points per place after that. Five points for a non-finish. Non-finishes can be very punishing as Bridgman heads Smith, then Will Gibson, followed by Marcus Pett, James Hall Morton back on track as well. In the back of that group, so I think settling down nicely for our first race of the weekend. The equivalent meeting last year, the start was delayed till midday, that was before we even had any qualifying because of the storm that came in, as Nick Bridgman is now having a little nibble, or being nibbled out on the inside line by Sean Smith. Sean has a look, can't quite go through, Opposite locks it through Hatchet, Hatchet's corner as we nip back. Two newcomers racing there, Stuart McAndrew in the 43 and James Newbury. Great to hear from James and Stuart McA McAndrew. Two new drivers on the grid. We're at the penultimate round of the season. We're still getting new drivers coming into Legends cars and having a look. It was supposed to be uh, another driver joining us, Leonard Woodcock, but work preventing him coming and racing. I think we'll see Leonard at Brands. And, uh, of course, more importantly, back next year as well for a full season. And uh, that, that's great news. Championship in good health at the moment. It's Jack Parker leads Mike Schlupp. Mike rapidly approaching a landmark birthday. I won't tell you which one. You can have a word with Mike in the paddock and uh, check up on that yourself. Nick Bridgman really is getting to grips with Legends. That's the ex-Steve Whiteleg car. All the cars are equal, of course, but that was uh, well-driven, well-loved and well-prepared by Steve Whiteleg. And Nick Bridgman really getting to grips with his Legends cars racing. It is a formula that will reward drivers that stick with it. As Miles Rubman now challenges for lead position. Cy Haraway has been deposed by the championship leader. And it's the Surrey man out front at the moment from the Midlander. So Paul Simmons is leading this race. Again, the, the two newcomers having a, a good old scrap. And at the moment, James Newbury, as you heard, running under the Mickle Motorsport awning, ahead of Stuart McAndrew. Stuart comes along the main straight. And that's the key thing for me, is that if you're a newcomer, you'll still find somebody to race with in Legends cars. We've got some prolific racing talent at the sharp end of things, but it doesn't matter what your experience, you'll find somebody to race with. In car again with Cy Haraway and Miles Rudman looking for the lead. Rudman on the inside line and Paul Simmons. Is he going to be able to get it? No, Simmons has got enough momentum there to hang on and Rudman will be looking back at Cy Haraway, trying to close down on him. This is where Haraway had his first Legends Cars win last year in the wet. And Rudman's going for the lead. He's on the outside line, across the line they go. Tick off another lap, bit of bump drafting here. And that helps the number seven car passed. And now Haraway sees a gap on the inside line. Bump drops his way past into second place and then uses the gap on the inside to grab the lead. 
Legends cars is an art when it is done like that. Superb stuff. Haraway leads. Paul Simmons now needs to get up and play with them, maybe to work with Miles Rummer. It looks like the, the two Pro 24 drivers are going to work together here. Cy tending the car himself at the track. But uh, so the top three, they're well clear. Look at the gap that these three have got. Paul Simmons has driven a blinder to get away with these two. First, uh, first and fourth in the championship. And Rudman here could play the game of just waiting for the right moment to nip through on the inside line. But it's Cy Haraway, the race leader at the moment. Again, looking back, super shot from the back of Haraway's guy. Here comes Rudman on the back bumper. No intent to pass at the moment. It's all about bump drafting. In theory, as we've said many times before, two cars will together will cut a bigger hole in the air and go that little bit quicker. They're not getting away too much at the minute from Paul Simmons. In second place, now Rudman decides to make a move. This is going to be down into the hairpin. Rudman's got his nose in front. The seventh car is in first. On board with Will gives a sideways moment there from Sean Smith. Couldn't avoid him. Spins round. Not what we wanted to see. For Gibson, six in the championship. He's uh, back on track, but he's a little way down and got work to do as Cy Haraway continues to now chase Miles Rudman again. He's having a look. Very good run there. It's down into the new club corner. Oh, a little bit of opposite lock on the way out. Great control, though, to stay in lead position. Still Paul Simmons back in third. Has been gapped a little bit, but not too much at the moment in the 51 car. Haraway still leading, so it's the two black cars that are there again. Rudman closes up right on the back bumper. Is he going to make the move again, maybe down in towards the hairpin? They come up towards Honda corner, which is the last corner on the lap. Haraway runs a little bit wide there. A little bit of drifting, not enough. There here comes Rudman again on the back bumper. Watch for Rudman to maybe make the move down the inside. No, he's not going to do it this time. He's content to just work with the 83 car. So it's Haraway leading, Miles Rubman in second position, Paul Simmons in third. Still this three-way battle for league position. They're well clear, barring any problems. The, the winner's gonna come from these three, but they're closing up on the McAndrew Newbury battle and Stewart's having a look down the inside line. That's two newcomers side by side. Meanwhile, the leader's catching them, hand over fist at the moment. And it is Miles Rudman still putting the pressure on. Cy Haraway, the race leader. Newbury back in front of McAndrew. Super race from those two. They'll be mindful of the leaders. They'll see blue flags shortly. Rubman on the back end of Haraway. Down in towards Hatchets they go. Still Paul Simmons in third. McAndrew has a little look down the inside. Sees the leaders coming. Look at that. Great driving by the uh, 43 car who gets right out of the way. He could have just held his ground there, but he didn't. He moved out the way. So too does James Newbury. Fine racing from the newcomers. Really respectful of the front runners in this race coming through. Really take my hat off to him now. Down into club corner. And again, Rudman putting pressure on. Rudman, the championship leader, doesn't actually need to challenge for the lead here to defend his championship lead. He could well just settle for second position, but the, the language we're seeing from the seven car, the body language of the car, tells me he's trying. He wants to get past Haraway and get that extra 15 points, which you'll get from converting second into first place here in South Wales. He knows that he can't afford a DNF in the run into the end of the season because that will open it up for everybody again, but he's got the points in the bag and He'll gun for it, for sure. Look at that, he's all over the back of Cy Haraway at the moment. Here we are, on board again, looking back from Haraway's car. Up comes the seven, he's got the pace. Is he going to have a look down on the inside line into Hatchets? Comes offline now, makes the move. Is he going to be able to get it done? Haraway, I think, has seen him. Yes, he has. So Haraway down to second, but looks on the inside line again. Haraway challenging Rubman back for the lead into Debeni. Haraway's back in the lead. Superb play swapping from the legends. As I always say, it's pure racing by definition. They pass, they repass. Superb stuff from the legends cars. Again, Rudman looks up the inside line. Is he going to grab the place? He does. Haraway knows that, but gets a better run on the exit. He's going to go for the inside here. Is there a gap? 
Well, Bailey hasn't quite got the momentum. Rudman's still on the outside line. Paul Simmons could now start to close in again because these two are squabbling. It might interfere with their lap times. In car with Haraway. Looks at the inside line of Miles Rudman. Paul Simmons, I think, is closing the gap now. We're heading back along Speedway Straight into the closing stages of this first race of the weekend here. Double header as ever. And Haraway down the inside line again goes for the lead. Rudman on the outside line in the seven car. The championship leader, the last lap board is about to go out and it's Miles Rudman, the championship leader in front. Looking back now from Haraway, under pressure from Simmons. Simmons comes out, makes a move around the outside line. Haraway, meanwhile, goes on the inside line of Rudman. Haraway's got the lead, they're hard on the brake. Simmons gonna go through as well. Simmons has a look, locks up, corrects quickly. Superb stuff from Simmons. Can he get P2 from Rudman? He has. So Rudman down to third place, Simmons up into second. And Cy si Haraway in the lead. He's got a length or so at the minute over Paul Simmons in P2. Rudman in third again. Miles won't be unhappy if it finishes like this. But having said that, he's going to the outside line at club. That'll convert to the inside here. Rudman back up into second. Super stuff from him. Wide exit again, carries speed. Simmons is going to come back through on the inside. Wonderful racing from Paul Simmons and Miles Rudman. They both read that superbly. And Simmons has now got the inside run onto the faster part of the track. Can he hold on to second position? It looks like Haraway is going to repeat the win he had here last year. He's opened up a little bit of a gap out front. Simmons in second, Rudman the championship leader in third. He's going to pull back 30 points on the championship lead for Haraway. It's a big ask for him to close in on Rudman's big total at the moment over the remainder of the season. But there's the checker. Haraway wins. Simmons second, Miles Rudman is in third. A little bit further back, Nathan Anthony having a good race there with Will Gibson. This is for 10th place. Anthony on the outside line in the Savannah. Gibson's going to have a look down the inside after his wide moment a little bit earlier on. Fourth position actually went to Jack Parker. Here comes the battle. Oh, big moment there for James Newbury coming out of the corner. I think Stuart McAndrew's going to nip past to get the better of him. He does. Well, the two newcomers, not the easiest of conditions. It's not dry. It's not fully wet either. Now, you probably would prefer one or the other, but Cy Haraway doesn't care. He takes the win. Paul Simmons second from Miles Rubman and Jack Parker. Sean Smith in fifth from Marcus Pett. Then James Hall Morton and Nick Bridgman. Mike Schlupp ninth. Head of Nathan Anthony, Will Gibson and Stuart McAndrew complete the finishes for our opening race here at Pembrey. The fastest lap actually went to Jack Parker in the 13 car. And sadly, a DNF for John Mickle. Big story, John Mickle, a non-finisher again, but he'll be back out for race two. Here they come into victory lane. Let's have a, a catch up with our top three. Back to the scene of your first Legends cars win, and, and now you reel them off with ease. I don't know about with ease. <laughs> but I, think we, I think we can call this from redemption because after Snetterton, um, the, the car just wasn't right. So it went back to Craig for 24. It's just come out of here like a bullet. So the car's perfect. Great race with these two. Uh, you know, it's always going to be close, but they're very capable, so nothing was ever going to go wrong. But um, yeah, it was it was one of those races where it was dry, spitting a little bit, so you didn't really know what you were going to get every time you went into the corner under brake, and you had to be a little bit careful. But um, yeah, over the moon, really pleased. We've just got a knock on now and uh, get some more. Paul, oh, another good podium battling Legends cars and a good P2 for you, well done. Yeah, very nice, I enjoyed that. I mean, we started off the front row, uh, but Miles and uh, Sai managed to bump drafters down the straight and then I just had to stay on the back of them. And it, yeah, it was a good race. And towards the end, I managed to just pit Miles. But yeah, no, no, really happy with that. Miles, podium result. At this stage of the season with the championship lead, probably what you need to do, but you were still gunning for the win. But at some time during the race, it looked like you were going to get it. It could have gone on any way, as Legends cars seem to do. Yeah, it was, uh, it was really close towards the end. and. Uh, yeah, I really wanted the win, obviously, but I'm happy with the points that I accumulated through the race. Third, third's really good, but as, as you said, uh, I really wanted the win, yeah, so. Mike, straight out of the car, what happened? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I knew I had to get a good start. I was curious to see how 247 was doing. He was slow down to the hairpin, so I came past him, then went to turn in. The next thing, back end was round. Whether he didn't see me, whether I took his front wheel, I don't know yet. I thought I just had a puncture, but having looking at it with the lads, it looks like it's uh, bent the axle. Another new driver with us, not new to the paddock, really good to see you Stuart, uh, how, was, how was the practice session? Um, okay, Just a lot of learning to do, um, I've got a lot of time to find, a lot of experience to find pretty much, so yeah we'll see, 
we'll see how it goes because it's a, it's a struggle at the moment, should we say? <laughs> but yeah, it's my first day. We'll find out. <laughs> As a team member, is there an element of being an armchair expert when you're watching the, the regular drivers go in it and then completely change your scenario, isn't it, when you get in the car? Yeah, definitely. You always, you always, you look at it, you expect them to try, look like they should be trying harder. But I, I can understand definitely that you know it's, it takes a lot, a lot of skill to even be quick, never mind fast. So yeah, I, could, I can. I can see that the train, that's for sure. <laughs> take, take a little bit of pressure off them now, I suppose. <laughs> Dave, problems for Mikey in race number one, and uh, has the axle been changed now? Yeah, the axle was too far bent. Um, it was seven mil toe out, and it had a big split in it, dropped all the oil out of it. So we've now just changed the axle, um, just finishing off a few little bits and pieces, and then a little bit of bodywork, and we'll be ready for the next race. That's quite a quick turnaround. Uh, yeah, for some old boys. <laughs> yeah, got a bit of a sweat on there, but it's, uh, we'll be ready for him to get out in the next race. Well, it's properly wet this time and it Miles Rudman on the front row with Will Gibson on the inside pole. Then Marcus Pett and the Savan of Nathan Anthony. Jack Parker on row three, fastest lap in race one. Sean Smith to his outside. Then followed by Nick Bridgman, who we have a little ride with. And you can see how difficult it is for the drivers here. I guess the first race was, uh, well, it was obviously drier, but tricky and at least, at least everybody knows what they're getting it is a very very wet track so let's watch and see how much caution there is going into turn one as the lights go out it is will gibson leading miles rudman on the outside marcus pett looks on the inside hold your breath as they go into hatchets hairpin three wide i'll tell you what they all thought about that and it's a good first corner Sai haraway in the mix on the inside line of Nick Bridgman. There is John Mickle at the head of that group. Mickle with a very rare non-finish in race number one. It was interesting to talk to him at the start of the meeting and saying that he thought the championship had, uh, was slipping away from him. He said that at our last meeting as well, which was at Snetterton. Uh, uncharacteristic for John. I still think he's in with a shout. A little sideways moment from Jack Parker who got a little bit of opposite lock coming out of the first part of the new club corner. Thankfully, he didn't dislodge Nathan Anthony, who takes up the place. Nathan Anthony in fourth, Marcus Pett third ahead of him, then Miles Rubman in black and yellow. Cy Haraway scythes past Sean Smith, but out front it's Will Gibson, so Gibson, Rubman and Pett, all of whom, of course, have won races this year. We've had a, a hat load of race winners this year it's been probably in terms of the number of winners the most competitive season for quite a few and no I can't go back and look it up it would be uh, a, a lot of work to suss out when the last time we had more winners was but uh, it's a few years ago Haraway down the inside line of John Mickle John looking far from happy at the moment but needs to get the car home and uh, his stable mate Mike Schlupp has a spin and that's on a very awkward part of the course on the way down into the hairpin. Thankfully, everybody negotiating it for them, thankfully for them and, of course, for Mike, because we don't want uh, anybody to pick up the damage. Will Gibson out front. Miles Rubman still second from Marcus Pett, Nathan Anthony. Then Cy Haraway has come through. John Mickle next up from Sean Smith in the Panache 21. James Hall Morton in 32 is next up from Nick Bridgman in blue. Just caught a glimpse of Nick now and a move here from Sean Smith on the inside line of John Mickle. Nathan Anthony goes off and onto the grass. So Anthony waved yellows there, safety car coming out. Guessing that's for Mike Schlup. Nathan Anthony will be able to resume from that as well, one would hope. But Mike Schlup's car's still there. Mike is out of the car and OK. But great decision from the race officials here. Very heavily waved yellows, everybody's slowing down. Mike's car's going to be OK. Everybody else is going to be OK as well because they will see it. So a good call for our second race. And for the top three who had broken away, maybe not such good news because Cy Haraway is now right up with them in fourth position. He'll be gunning to uh, try and catch them.
Getting ready to race again, and Will Gibson, I think, was looking in his mirror to see where Miles Rudman was just going from side to side and goes. He's made a good restart, Will Gibson, here. Rudman looking wide for a bit of grip on the outside line and chasing Gibson. They're not allowed to overtake till they get past the start-finish line. There's the green flag. We can go racing again. Rudman looks to the outside as they come down to Hatchets. Brave move from Rudman in the wet. It's going to be hard on the brakes. Will Gibson giving him room on the inside line. They go out. That is good racing between the pair of them. And Gibson, as a result, holds on to the lead. You see Mike Schlipscar just parked up on the inside of the barrier, out of harm's way. So a quick recovery from the marshals. And we're back racing. So Harrow in fourth. Conditions you can see absolutely filthy for this race. He tries to close down on Marcus Peck, dives down the inside line, and he's through into third. So Harrow very nearly got a repeat of our lead two cars from race one. Haraway and, and Rudman are going to be together now, but Will Gibson leading this one. John Mickle next up from Sean Smith. Jack Parker recovering from his gyration. Jack, I think you've got to say a beneficiary of the safety car after his spin and chipping away through the field Jack Parker doing a super job as ever but for his uh, problems earlier on in the season would have definitely been a championship contender by my mind he's shown great pace very good racecraft as well as Cy Haraway looks down the inside line of Miles Rudman for second place Rudman going very wide Haraway goes through those two potentially battling for the championship but remember Rudman's got a a big lead in the Championship as we come here. Now it is side by side. Haraway's got the job done. Marcus Pet trying to come up into a podium position as well. And Will Gibson, the race leader. So Gibson out front. Haraway again. Little tap on the back. I think that was an attempt to maybe bump drafting or well, we'll talk to Miles about that after the race. But Rubman and Haraway still very much involved in the mix. Much clearer view as you'd expect looking back because you're not getting the spray into the camera. But uh, you do get a good picture of the spray going up into the following car of Miles Rudman. So Will Gibson, the leader, Cy Haraway charging away and in second position with Miles Rudman. Those are the top three. Marcus Pett back in fourth, still in touch with him. Jack Parker fifth. Second race of the weekend. Remember, it is a six race weekend. This programme just focusing on round 11 of the championship. They're closing down on James Newbury. In car with Haraway again. What can he do about the race leader? James Newbury coming up. He'll be very much aware that they are there. Sticks to the outside. They go through and through on the inside line. Goes at Honda corner. Goes Cy Haraway into the lead. Haraway's through. Runs a little bit wide here. And let's see whether Gibson can cut through the mist and nip back through on the inside line as Phil Turner here heads Bill Reid, 11th and 12th place for those two. Phil Turner's car repaired by his team and uh, Bill Reid enjoying his race as well. John Mickle still ahead at the moment of James Hall Morton. Sean Smith immediately ahead of them heading through Spitfire's corner there and then rounded to Debeni. A little way down at the moment on the race leaders. It is... Haraway and Will Gibson 1-2, Miles Rubman in third, Rubman trying to close down and get involved in the battle for the lead, Jack Parker closing up on Marcus Pett, Sean Smith not that far away as well, then John Mickle, actually closer than I thought they were, James Hallmort right in behind in the 32 car as well. The number of spectators out, enjoying most of the racing where possible from race view parking which we have here, which is a super thing to do. Pembrey, particularly on a changeable conditions day like this, but it's Haraway still out front. Miles Rodman chasing Will Gibson for second place. James Hallmort trying to hunt down the defending champion John Mickle, and remember, multi champion John Mickle, first won the championship, as you heard in the interview in 2001, has won numerous world titles as well in the formula. Bill Reid ahead of Phil Turner. In the 247 car, Bill in the 67. Bill running off the gentleman's group off the back of the grid as the lead quartet come through. And look at that, Jack Parker's caught them. Parker looking at the inside line. Miles Rudman goes on the outside to challenge for second place, but Will Gibson holds on to it. And now Rudman's got another car in the mix, which is Jack Parker. Remember, he had the spin or the half spin earlier on in the new club link. There is Nick Bridgman. Nick running in 10th place at the moment. A bit of sideways motoring for him. 
Uh, certainly a good way to practice your car control in the wet. So it's Haraway leading side by side for second. Rudman through to second. Jack Parker looking to come through as well. Jack Parker on the outside line here. Will Gibson on the inside giving each other room. Parker goes wide and looks for more momentum out of the corner. And he's got another outside line to do on the next bend as well. Rudman up into third, still side by side. This is great racing, isn't it? Between Jack Parker on the outside and Will Gibson on the inside line. And Will's trying to find a little bit of grip on the inside and maybe momentum as well. Marcus Pett's off as well. Oh, that's a shame. Marcus Pett off the circuit. Is he going to be our second retirement? We've only lost Mike Schlipp so far, but Marcus looks like he had a problem in the back of shot as the lead quartet again. Visibility difficult. Haraway in, the, in lead position. It could be a double here for Haraway. It means he'll start right at the back of the grid for race three. Rudman second. Jack Parker down the inside line now for third place. Will Gibson on the outside and Parker goes through. Jack Parker through on the inside line. Neat move there. Will Gibson knew that was on and wasn't going to fight it. The racing between them on the previous lap, absolutely brilliant. Side by side, but plenty of space and plenty of respect between the pair. And that's exactly how Legends cars should be. Haraway the leader though, Rudman second, Rudman again on for really good points here. But Jack Parker will fancy his chances of moving up to P2. Parker really now only in Legends cars to, to grab the wins if he can get them because of missing the American Speed Fest earlier on in the season. He's looking for second place here. Are we going to see Rudman lose another second place on the last lap? Yes, we are because Parker goes through, up into second place. Here's the view from the race leader, but Rudman fighting back, looks at the inside line. Parker has a thought about being defensive, then comes back out for the racing line here. He's back down to third, Rudman up into second. This is the run into Honda corner. It's going to be it's going to be Cy Haraway to take the win. Miles Rudman having a good run out of Honda. It's going to take second, but it's Cy Haraway that makes it two out of two. Rudman second, Parker third, Will Gibson in a great fourth position. Sean Smith coming through the Merck in fifth place with John Mickle and James Hall Morton. It is James Hall Morton just in front of John Mickle as they get to the flag. Then we saw Paul Simmons, who was on the podium in race number one. But Cy Haraway makes it two out of two here in tricky conditions. Is he going to be able to get three out of three? Haven't had a hat trick this year. Haraway from Rudman and Parker. Gibson, Smith and Hall Morton wrapping up the top six. John Mickle seventh from Paul Simmons, then Nathan Anthony and Nick Bridgman in tenth. Bill Reid was 11th ahead of Phil Turner. Stuart McAndrew and James Newbury completing the finishers with Marcus Pett and Mike Schlipp sadly non-finishers. Fastest lap on the last lap, two out of two fastest laps for Jack Parker. Into Park Ferme, let's go and have a word with the winners. So great, great drive, congratulations. I don't think anyone was maybe expecting a double in these conditions, but two out of two. Yeah, we always go well in the rain. I've always loved the rain since McCartan days years ago and the rallying experience I've got as well. So I didn't expect it, but I expected to be to be going well in the rain. So it's, uh, you know, it all fell right for us. There's some really quick guys out there, so it's difficult when you get in front to stay in front, but it was just a case of trying to just keep putting the laps in, not making any mistakes. Um, and by the same token, when you're coming through, trying not to, to run into anybody else. So yeah, and it was really, really pleasing. One more to go. Well, it's another great result. Another podium, exactly what you need at the moment, but very tricky conditions out there. Oh, it was really hard, yeah. It was, uh, it was just really tough. Uh, I mean, my visor steamed up as soon as I pulled out, and all I was doing was trying to de-steam it for most of the race. But uh, I dropped down to fourth and managed to get back to second. But like you say, it's just the points I'm looking for. So. I'm happy that we finished second and got the points here. Jack, super recovery, because I saw a problem going into that the new corner early on in the race, then the safety car, but fastest lap and a podium, that's not a bad result. No, uh, definitely. Um, I don't know who hit me, but uh, it definitely uh, spun me right round and pushed me straight to the back. Um, and thankfully, the, there was a safety car uh, involving someone else, so I managed to catch the pack back up, and uh, it's basically a new start for me uh, from obviously the back but it, it was good fun good interest in there got through the pack yeah i'm quite pleased to have a fastest lap as well and top three bonus marcus sorry to see your dnf that last race what was the problem and how are you getting on with the repairs 
Yeah, we uh, sheared a prop shaft um, midway through that last race and um, yeah, unfortunately caused a, a DNF. Uh, the repair's nearly done now, so just the final last, uh, last bit of it, then um, yeah, we'll be all good for the final. And obviously a DNF means that you should start race three nearer the front, so hopefully, if, if all is well, some good points in the offing. Yeah, exactly. Visibility should be, uh, hopefully get to the front fairly quick and get some visibility, because that was the re real struggle in that last race. So, yeah, we'll see if we can salvage a decent result to end the day. Phil Turner and Marcus Pett on the front row of the grid. Marcus has effected the repairs. John Nickel, unusually for a race three, starts on row two with Nick Bridgman, then Nathan Anthony in the Savan. And next to Nathan is going to be James Hall Morton. So the safety car, or pace car in this particular scenario, goes into pit lane. And we're ready for the start of the third and final race of round 11 of the 24 hour solutions MRF Legends Cars National Championship 2019. Lots of onboards to enjoy through the course of the race. On board with Will Gibson, looking at the inside line of James Hall We go racing here, and it's Marcus Pett looking on the outside line of Phil Turner as they go down into Hatch. It's Nathan Anthony on the inside line. Nick, uh, Nick Bridgman up into second place. So Haraway, oh, Paul Simmons very nearly paid a visit in the back. Haraway, I think, is up into fifth place already. Top point scorer starts at the back for this one, but making great progress. John Nickel, the meat in a yellow sandwich at the minute, pulls out of that, goes on the outside line. So too does Paul Simmons. Inside in the next corner, Gibson through on the inside, inside line of Phil Turner. But Marcus Pett making a getaway at the moment as out front. We can see Pett, Haraway through into P2 on the inside line of James Hall Morton. Haraway from the back of the grid is up into second place already on the opening lap. And Mick Bridgman on the back of James Hall Morton. Kept his foot in, Hall Morton spins around but recovers, albeit right at the back. So it's Marcus Pett leading, Cy Haraway in second position here. Dramatic opening to race three. Paul Simmons running in third place at the moment. Nick Bridgman is fourth. Will Gibson about to challenge as they come off Honda Corner. Looks down the inside line, great move. Superb momentum for Gibson, the Camberley man in the TWG Automotive Blue Sky CAD car goes through. Marcus Pett, the leader. Cy Haraway in black second. The yellow car of Paul Simmons is third. Will Gibson about to now challenge for fourth place. Looks on the inside line. Bridgman next up. Bridgman's going to have a run around the outside. Miles Rodden going tight down into Hatchets. He's going to get the place here. Bridgeo getting hung out to try a little bit. Sean Smith and Jack Parker are in behind. They've still got time to catch up with the leading two, although they are fast drivers. We've got Marcus Pett leading, Cy Haraway in second. This, of course, race three, which means it's slightly longer, normally to allow the drivers more chance to come through the field a longer race because the top scorers start at the back. The top scorers are already at the front in one form or another as Miles Rubman looks at Paul Simmons now. Rubman has scored very well once again today, a second and a third place thus far. So outscoring the man we're looking at here from Nick Bridgman's car, Sean Smith. Sean's had a good day, 300 points, but that's relatively quiet for him. He looks on the inside line of Bridgman, about to maybe pull up a few more points, but he's lost a little bit of ground on Miles Rubman in the championship. Rubman now looking on the inside again of Paul Simmons, side by side, they go, great racing, and Rubman just tapped the back end of Simmons' car. It went sideways, he collected it all up. That was a masterly recovery from Paul Simmons. Miles Rudman, I think, backed out of that, maybe to be fair as well. They survive another corner and another lap. Great close legends racing. I don't think any malice in that at all either. Again, be interesting to talk to him afterwards. Jack Parker trying to close in. So it is again the battle continues between the pair of them the championship leader one would say that he's not going to content himself not with just getting points as Cy Haraway is closing in on the race leader looks on the inside line of oh, Marcus Pett goes through a little tap and look at this a little kink in the front bumper now of Marcus Marcus's car which I think was caused by the move through on the inside line by Cy Haraway but Haraway's got the lead Marcus Pett second Will Gibson third, this the three-way battle for fourth position headed by Paul Simmons at the moment. The Rudman again going tight, Parker looking for grip on the outside in the 13 car. The two leaders immediately ahead, Marcus Pett back on the case of Cy Haraway trying to get through. We've got 
Nick Bridgman just been passed there by James Hall Morton at the back. All action stuff. Super days racing we've had again. It, it has been difficult conditions, but a, a superb day. Two new drivers joining the grid, which you don't get every day in most formally, particularly towards the end of the season. Uh, but some great racing as well. Rubman looking on the inside line again of Paul Simmons. It's the run down to Hatchet. Surely he's got it. I think he has. So too has Jack Parker. Paul will fight back. Cast your minds back to race one, where Paul Simmons got back ahead of Miles Rubman on the last lap to take second position. Simmons scoring well today. Second race one, 120 points in race two. Here is driver who had problems in race number one. Phil Turner started on pole. This is building his experience of Pembrey, as he said in the opening interview before he went out for race one. Didn't race here last year, so this is the first time. And tricky conditions. We haven't had consistent conditions for him to be able to learn the circuit. Parker and Rubman, though, side by side, having a good race. This is for fourth place. Parker, I think, has got the position done. Goes through. A little bit of opposite lock from him. Will Gibson about to challenge for second. Gibson has caught Pets. This is for fifth in the championship as well. I think Gibson's probably got the upper hand on that at the moment based on the points from race two because remember Marcus had that DNF. And those two uh, very, very close in the mix. You've got to say, and realistically, looking at the, the top ten as they came into this meeting, the top ten in the championship are all capable of winning races and therefore winning the championship. I have absolutely no hesitation in saying that. I'm not going to reel off the names for you, just uh, maybe go and look at the website and see what I mean. But it is absolutely right, it could go any way. But ultimately, it's all about consistency as well as the speed. Uh, and we've seen that from Miles Rubman all season so far. We've seen it from Sean Smith. John Mickle, John Mickle's out of the race, by the way. Two I cannot remember the last time John Mickle had two retirements. But it's Haraway in front. Will Gibson chasing, Marcus Pett still in third. And no question, Gibson looking the quickest of these drivers at the moment. Will Gibson chasing the man who's won two races so far today and looking for a hat-trick. Will it be the first hat-trick that we've seen since Snetterton day one last year? That was Steve Whiteleg. Haven't had uh, a hat-trick before Steve Whiteleg, but joins an illustrious club of drivers. I think Gary Thomas was the first to get a hat-trick, going back in the day, and passed for the lead while I was waffling on about that. Apologies, Will Gibson, super move to go through into the lead ahead of Cy Haraway. So Gibson's got the lead, and Haraway now is going to fight back. They're closing down on James Newbury. Get wrapped up in me stats sometimes. And uh, Haraway would dearly love to get a hat-trick. He's going to... Try and fight back. Marcus Pett still there in third place. Just watching what's going on between these two, but he's not, not to be discounted either. Wondering about that corner there with the... Uh, you can see the curb on the outside line. Haraway really having a good go. Splashes through the standing water. Past James Newbury they go. And Haraway spies a gap. And Gibson runs a little bit wide. And Haraway's got the lead back. So Haraway could be on for the hat-trick again, but Will Gibson's caught it once. I suspect he'll feel that he'll be able to do it again. Here we come, up to the centre S's. Haraway still the race leader, having reclaimed it from Will Gibson. Marcus Pett still there. Jack Parker is fourth. We've lost Nick Bridgman from the race now as well, by the way. What a race we've got here, and... Gibson trying to close in again on Cy Haraway. Coming down Speedway Straight through Carter's Curve, down towards Honda Corner, and then onto the main straight we go once again. And Gibson, this is very much looking racy here in second position and looking for the lead, goes wide. How much ground can he close up as they come across the line? And onto another lap, and Gibson's making his move down the inside line into Hatchet. Haraway's going for the wide line, he's too far back to grab the lead for sure. But goes across the goes across the apex and gets the lead. Gibson's back in front. Gibson has passed Haraway now twice in this race. Can he stay in front this time? Gibson leads. Haraway second. Third position is Marcus Pett, still very much in the mix and not too far behind these two. If they squabble, it will allow Pett to get closer and maybe nip through. We've seen that so many times in the championship this year. 
Cy Haraway, now the chaser once again. He wants a hat-trick, but Will Gibson wants to go out of the meeting with a win. It's the 57 car out front. Cy Haraway busy chasing him at the moment. Marcus Petster in third, Jack Parker fourth, Miles Rudman in fifth. Rudman, no doubt, is going to end the day as championship leader going into the anti-penultimate round of the championship for this year. A little bit more traffic looming for the leaders. So Gibson still in front, comfortable margin at the moment over Cy Haraway. He's pulled clear of Cy Haraway and Cy might be thinking about the overall meeting points here. Here they come, out of Honda Corner. Haraway beginning to close up again. Phil Turner in front. The last lap board goes out and it's three or four lengths maybe at the moment over Will Gibson. Haraway closes up under braking. He's taking a wide line here to carry as much momentum as possible. Goes a little bit sideways there. Phil Turner was outside, now switches to the inside line. First, second and third, Jack Parker past Turner. This is the last lap. Haraway trying to reel in the race leader. We ride on board with Cy Haraway once again. Looks like his onboard camera has taken a little bit of a knock over the course of the uh, race. But still out front, it's Will Gibson. Coming out towards the centre, S is Jack Parker in third. Jack Parker's got the fastest lap again. Three races out of three. Parker is going to be the top gun for this meeting as Will Gibson continues to lead from Cy Haraway. Let's see whether Cy can close up over the closing point of the lap. We're at Brooklyn's Hebbin for the last time. James Newbury out front. In car again with Haraway. Will Gibson still the leader. James Newbury will see some blue flags being waved. He goes to the outside of the track. Will Gibson goes through. Now into Honda Corner for the last time. Haraway's making the move. Goes through the inside line. What's their contact between the two? Haraway has got the lead. He's on for the hat-trick as they cross the line and take the checkered flag. Haraway wins. Gibson second, Jack Parker third. But the officials might have something to say about that. Before they do, though, let's catch up with third place man, Jack Parker. Jack, another good run through the field. Another tricky wet race, but another fastest lap and another podium for you. Well done. Yeah, um, I like the fastest lap. It's uh, something I can achieve uh, with the points-wise. Uh, yeah, it's always uh, always uh, bragging rights uh, with the fastest lap. But um, yeah, trick into conditions. The track was ever so changing from wet uh, from the start of the race to greasy uh, towards the end, and it was struggling which line to take at which corner. Um, so, but happy, got fastest lap, got third, got podium. So uh, yeah, keep uh, getting the points. Well, not that it matters to me anymore, but uh, yeah, had a good race, good fun out there. It's great that you came back. I mean, obviously, we've uh, I've made quite a lot of the fact that you missed a round through injury. We said, did it take the pressure off championship-wise? But you look to be really enjoying the racing, and, and that's what it's about, coming in, racing hard, seeing what you can do against the other lads and just enjoying your weekend away. You know what? It's great being out there, being racing, and just being competitive and, yeah, having a good battle. It is a bit disappointing when you come and have top threes and you're not in, you miss that round and you're not in the championship anymore, uh, up for the running. So it, it is a bit disheartening in that, but uh, we, I'm glad to be out there, glad to be racing. It was indeed a judicial. Will Gibson getting the win from Cy Haraway. Jack Parker, the man we just heard from, in third place with three fastest laps this weekend. Marcus Pett, fourth from Miles Rubman and Paul Simmons. Sean Smith, seventh, head of James Hall Morton, Nathan Anthony, and Bill Reid in the top ten. Good job from him. Phil Turner, 11th, from Stuart McAndrew and James Newbury. Non finishes for Nick Bridgman and John Mickle. Closing shot of our race three winner, Will Gibson, the Camberley man looking forward to day two here at Pembrey. But the overall victory on the day going to Cy Haraway in the 83 car. Second place and two wins. Miles Rudman, second from Jack Parker and Will Gibson. Paul Simmons, fifth on the round with Sean Smith and James Hall Morton next from Nathan Anthony, Marcus Pett and Stuart McAndrew. One more day's racing to come from Pembrey. Our winner today, Cy Haraway, thanks for your company. We look forward to you joining us again next time out.